Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Leo placements out there. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all Leo placements out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's get started with some messages from your person. Um, and I also want to just say I've been having really bad allergies today, so I'm sorry if I like pause here and there. Um, they've just been really affecting me, and also if I sound different as well. I'm in my own lane. I don't blame you. I've shown my true colors. I want you around. Okay, so, so far with these first three cards, I feel like your person has shown you some distance and you don't know how to take that with them. Um, you just don't appreciate that because it's like the distance that they've been showing you is you feel like it's uncalled for because you you may feel like they're just completely disregarding you and this connection and it's affecting you in a way because you just don't like how your person all of a sudden did this or like it's kind of like they have an attitude and you just don't appreciate that um and I feel like they, they've they blown you off, like in terms of communication, and they've been more, I want to say like direct, just like they just have some sort of attitude that you just don't know why or you just don't like that right now. Um, we have, I'm in my own lane. I feel like this is both you and your person's energy. This is your person's energy in the way that Right now, they're just kind of doing their own thing. Um, they're not really showing this connection any time or attention right now. Um, so it's like they're doing them, but you're also doing you. You notice how your person somewhat has like an attitude um, and you don't like that. And because you don't like that, you're not going to let that affect you. You're not going to let that affect you time and time again. At first, you could have maybe tried to see what or how they're acting um, was all about, but after they kind of did the same thing more than once, you were like, okay, I'm going to back off. I'm not going to put my energy into this, especially if this person isn't. Um, so I feel like that's both of your energies. And then we have, I don't blame you, I've shown my true colors. I feel like this person has shown you a little bit of, like, their ugly side. That, that you know that's not all them, but at the same time, it's like, you just don't appreciate how they're being. I know I keep describing it like that, but right now you're kind of seeing it as okay, this person is being like this and I can do without it because in the end, I don't want this to drag me down. I don't want my person to drag me down. But I feel like how your person is being towards you right now is kind of just like a phase or it's just something about their personality that has them or that, or this is kind of common for them. Um, maybe they're just bad at expressing their feelings and their emotions, but you might be kind of used to this act with them, and then they kind of switch up after a little bit of time. So I feel like you've kind of learned to keep your distance so it doesn't end up affecting you and how you feel. But at the same time, it's a disruption in this connection because you wish that your person can learn better ways to express themselves or at least communicate how they're feeling so they don't project it onto you but we do have i want you around i feel like 
how your person is being right now. It's more of a phase and they do care about you and you know that they care about you, but this disruption in the connection and I feel like this, this kind of happens often. Um, it needs to be worked on. It needs to be like, you're not about to stay in this connection with this, whatever is going on happening over and over again because you've already learned to keep your distance when things get like this but you're valuing your standards and your boundaries like you're respecting yourself and you're respecting what you like and what you don't like and this is something you don't like about your person just their communication when the timing is right Right now is not the time. This connection is hard to face. Okay, so I do feel like if you two are not, like you, you two haven't made things official or established yet, it's not going to happen right now and your person is it's not going to happen right now, one, because you don't appreciate the communication style of your person and how they're kind of hot and cold. And when they do have an attitude, it's like they separate themselves from you and they can't even acknowledge how you feel. Um, they've shown their, their true colors. They've shown how they're not the best communicator. And when it comes to a connection, communication is one of the top priorities. Um, and you're kind of just tired of the back and forth, being on with this person, being off with this person. Um, so I don't feel like right now they're going to acknowledge that they could work on bettering themselves for a connection. Um, we have when the timing is right. I And we also have right now is not the time. So I feel like if anything, there is going to be more distance in this connection and maybe not as much communication within this connection because you're getting tired of them being present and then not being present and projecting their emotions onto you. That's not what you want to put up with right now. So I feel like this connection is going to stay stagnant until your person kind of learns how to communicate and maybe regulate how they feel and what they're going through better, um, but it starts with themselves. Um, and they might try to still keep things where they're at as far as being present one moment and not being present the other, but you're just gonna step away from that because you, you know that you deserve better. Um, and we also have this connection is hard to face. I just feel like that has more to do with this connection not kind of blossoming or blooming into something right away um it could be that both of you have things that you need to work on before coming together to make it work um but i feel like one of the main things in this connection right now that needs to be work on worked on is the communication habits between you two all right and then we'll get three cards from this deck my immaturity gets the best of me. I tend to just think about myself and push your wants and needs to the side. I have some growing to do. I know that, but it can't happen overnight. One day we will be so amazing. We add to each other in the best ways. Growth is a part of anything successful and I'm ready to start the process with you. I'd appreciate knowing how you feel i know how i feel but i need to know the feelings mutual are we on the same page okay so starting with my immaturity gets the best of me i tend to just think about myself and push your wants and needs to the side i have some growing to do i know that but it can't ha happen overnight this has to do with your person and how they just shut down and just they express they sorry they express their most their emotions in a negative way and 
they could just be immature with their emotions and how they feel and like you could be dealing and I'm not saying like this sign is immature but sometimes they don't express their emotions in the best of ways so maybe like a Sagittarius placement I'm in Aquarius moon and I know that sometimes when I'm hit with emotions that aren't the best feeling I shut down and I let my feelings sit inside and because they're sitting inside and I'm not expressing them on time or in a natural way I kind of project those emotions outward so maybe a Sagittarius placement or an Aquarius placement but their immaturity is getting the best of them within this connection and this could have this could be you too in a way because it's like you're seeing it as okay they want to be this way towards me I'll be this way towards them but you're just respecting your boundaries but for those who may have like felt the need to get back at this person because they sh they really showed their true colors um maybe this card is letting you know that you shouldn't need to exhaust your energy on someone or something that's immature and has a lot of growing to do and then we have one day we will be so amazing we add to each other in the best ways growth is a part of anything successful and i'm ready to start the process with you um this has to do with just like the timing of the connection there's just a lot of like growing and things that your person can learn in order to fin to fix their communication um and once that is started i feel like progress will occur in this connection but for for now it's it's gonna remain stagnant stagnant that's what i'm getting and then we have i i'd appreciate knowing how you feel i know how i feel but i need to know the feelings mutual are we on the same page I feel like you would wish that your person communicated better to you and they just hide their emotions in a very odd way and it might be a lot different from how you express your emotions because when you feel a certain way you have no problem communicating that to anyone so you're you're just like why can't this person be truthful with me be honest with me because when you're not honest, it wastes time. It wastes it, it wastes time altogether. And there's so many emotions that come with dishonesty. Um, so you're just wishing your person could communicate to you how they feel, what's going on in their life, what's on their mind, because if anything, you feel like you would understand them and you wouldn't judge them. So yeah, that's all I have for my Leo placements today. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.